ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Heart to Gold. I think this is episode 30. We've made it 30 episodes in. I'm surprised. Usually none of my series make it this far. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, so last time, we saved the director who was hidden at the bottom, uh, right in the basement of the department store on the Golden Rod Underground, and he gave us the card key to access this previously unaccessible area of the... Um, uh, 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 what is this? The radio tower. And uh, we are making our way to the top to see what awaits us there. So first of all, we have a rocket grunt with a raticate to take care of. Well, I will raticate care of you. I already used that joke last episode, didn't I? <laughs> I'm terrible. Think of some original material, Dale. Seriously. Okay, let's go straight in with an air slash. I'm thinking of switching maybe to Wally uh, to get through this battle. And maybe some sub subsequent battles as well. Uh, but we'll see. No, actually, it's fine. It's fine. We'll just stick with... Uh, Ness for now. Good old Ness, Wally, uh, Shadow and Charlie as our team member so far. Like I said, I do know what my final team member is going to be. I'm not too sure on the nickname yet though, so uh, I'll have to think of a good one for that. A good representation for my team of uh, some of my favourite Nintendo characters. Gulp, this is a bleak moment. Uh, I guess Shadow isn't really a, a Nintendo character. I should have called him Sonic. That's still not a, uh, still not a Nintendo character, but it's it's... It's it's a game character. It's fun. Proton, now just wait one second. Aren't you the one who got in our way at the slowpoke? Well, I see. You're doing this all because you want to make me angry. Be careful. But since you seem to wish it, I'll show you the full extent of Team Rocket Executive's wrath. I'm sure you will, Proton. So yes, this is a guy we fought all the way back in Azalea Town. Let's see if he still has the same weak little team. Ah, okay. He's got a gold bat level 28. Level 28? Okay, suddenly this has become more challenging. Let's go with an uproar. Um, simply because I don't think Confusion is going to have enough to do a decent amount of damage. Uproar doesn't seem to either. Um, but it, I don't actually know, as English say, at least he won't be able to sell, send us to sleep. Although we can't be sent to sleep anyway because of insomnia, and I'm pretty sure Goldbot doesn't have any sleep inducing moves. Other than Hypnosis, actually. Does it have Hypnosis? I'm pretty sure it can have Hypnosis. Anyway, that seemed to have taken quite a lot, chunk of my uh, health out. But no problem. What's his other Pokemon? See if we can take this out. Even easier. We're level 37 now, that's good. Okay, next one's Lun Zen Headbutt. I'm actually going to skip out on that. Um, it is a quite a strong, powerful psychic move. And he's going to send in Weezing. I'm actually going to keep battling since I just calmed down and I can use uh, Confusion. But yeah, um, Zen Headbutt is a very good uh, physical um, psychic move. Uh, but the thing is, Ness really isn't a physical attacker, so uh, it won't really do much problem. I mean, I, I was then about to say, I guess it could help a bit against uh, Weezing, but Weezing is very physically resistant, so there's no point. Let's hope we can get through this without being poisoned. That would be fantastic. If this would KO, then that would be wonderful, but it didn't. Never mind. Sludge, watch this Watch this poison me now. Right now. It's going to do it. Yeah. I called it. I called it. Now, do we go back and heal, or never mind? <laughs> <laughs> no healing necessary. <laughs> uh, let's just send out Charlie to get the extra little bit of XP. I mean, I know we're weak against poison, but I'm fairly sure we can outspeed a wheezing. Okay, just go with the tackle. Oh, there we go. Now, do I revive Ness, or do I go down and heal him? You know what? I think I'm going to carry on without him for a bit, because I'm pretty sure we can do at least a few more battles before we need to heal. Um... Uh, Pokeball, what's this? Ultra Ball, very relevant for the area we're in. Uh, what do you say? You may have won this time, but all we did was take uh, make Team Rocket's Wrath grow. That was the idea. Okay, so who do we have? Oh, what's this? Uh, go up for Observation Desk. Desk? Deck, even. So this is Ariana. Hey, you, remember me from the hideout in Mahogany Town this time? Hee 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 hee. This time, it looks like you're really all alone. All alone, so it should be quite easy. Bring it, let's finish this. So we, we seem to be facing all of the rocket executives. I wonder if their leader is at the top. I wonder if it's Giovanni. Who knows? This Arbok. I should not have sent Charlie in for, for, for first. I don't know what happened. I sort of had some weird stuttering rap combination. <laughs> okay, let's switch out for Wally. Uh, Wally should be able to take care of the Arbok easily, as well as be resistant to poison, poisoning and glare. Eh, that could cause us a problem. Oops, I meant to use Earthquake, but I did not. Never mind. Um, paralyzed anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I kind of want to heal. Or, well, at least get rid of the paralysis. 
Um, but I tell you what, we're definitely going to heal after this match because it seems like coming up next we've got a big battle ahead of us. So that should at least take half of his health away. Come on, all of it. Yeah, super effective. Earthquake. Gotta love Earthquake. Alright. Well, he gained a good old 252. He's going to send in Vile Plume. So we will send out... I would love to send out Ness right now, but I can't. Vile Plume is going to do a lot of damage against Wally. I'm going to send out Shadow. It was a bit of a... A uh, bit of a... Uh, believe it or not, what's it thing? Um, a surprise? A shock? There we go, shock. Hey, look, it's a Vile Plume. I didn't expect that. Uh, I'm going to use him as heal bait, so I'm going to quickly revive Ness. And uh, Ness's um, air slash should be able to take care of Vile Plume quite easily. Sleep powder, that's frustrating. Okay, I'm going to risk switching into Ness. Hopefully, uh, this Vile Plume will decide to use some toy, uh, some toy of grass type moves, such as Giga Drain. I oh, know, it won't do much damage against, against Ness anyway. Acid! Is that poison type? Pretty sure it's poison type. That might do a bit of damage. It didn't, never mind. Lowered my special defense, which could be a problem. Let's just go with the air slash. It should take away at least half. Because uh, we do outlevel it quite a lot. And it's super effective. Yeah. Sleep powder stayed awake because of insomnia. Thank you very much. I knew that would come in handy at some point. <laughs> okay. So that's one more Pokemon down. And she should have one more. What's it going to be? Charlie Grid level 35. Though. That's pretty cool. Shadow gain 315. Going to send out a Murkrow. So... Dark and flying type. I guess we just stay with Ness. Uh, confusion isn't going to do anything because Dark completely, well, it doesn't resist it. Dark is immune to poison type attacks. Poison, I meant psychic, sorry. I'm sure someone will correct me. Um, so we'll just go with the air slash and hope it does enough. Eh, it's fine. Also, is this the Murkrow which was hiding in the Mahog Mahogany Town thing? That'd be quite interesting because it was the one that allowed us to get through. Oh, the suit, okay. It was, it was the Murkrow that allowed us to... <gasps> two hit points! It was the Murkrow that allowed us to get um, through and destroy all the Volt... Uh, sorry, Electrodes, not Voltorbs. Um, yeah, oh, okay, there we go. The defeat now, Ariana. Aye -ya! This can't be happening! I fought hard, but I still lost. Yes, you did. So what are you going to say to me, huh? Uh, what a waste. Uh, not to use your strength to do bad things. Heh, <laughs> people like you will never in a million years understand our brilliance. Too bad. I've come... I've really come to respect your strength. Can we survive? Wally's power... You know what? I'm just going to risk it, you know. Ness is on two hit points. I mean, we can heal that up quite easily. Wally is paralyzed. I'm sure we've got some type of berry, which would otherwise be useless. Uh, hit points, hit points. Uh, cure from paralysis, a cherry berry. Cherry berry. Let's just give it to Wally. There we go. No more paralyzed for Wally. Let's quickly use a super potion on Ness and then another one. Okay, and then we'll use another Super Potion on Wally as well. I should get them both, well, it'll get Ness almost up to full hit points. I doubt we're going to need to use him. I can't actually remember what team the, is, in, is awaiting us, but having Wally at the next level, or having Wally fully healed, would be quite advantageous, because I think I can remember what Pokemon we're about to face. It's a Ho-Oh, just saying. No, it's not really. Observation tech, okay, up we go. Okay, here we go, up we go, okay. Mm -hmm. That's just a little inside joke between me and Sean. So here we have the observation deck. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, you managed to get this far? You must be quite the trainer. We intend to take over this radio tower and officially announce our comeback. That should bring our boss Giovanni back from his solitary training. We are going to regain our former glory. I will not allow you to interfere with our meticulous plans. And then we battle him. I don't know what happened there. It was... I realized it was sort of like the Giovanni or Chuck voice I gave him, and then it turned into the Michael Caine combination. So he's going to send out a Hound Hour, a Dark and Fire type Pokemon, and I'm just going to wreck its face with Earthquake. Ah, <laughs> oh, seriously, Hound Hour is a pretty cool Pokemon, so is its evolution, but uh, it's got no place against Quagsire here. Okay, so one Earthquake should easily take that out in one hit. I'm pretty sure since it's uninvolved, and it was a critical hit anyway, no way it was going to survive. Oh man, I've got to try and remember that voice for after we beat him. Oh well, so he's going to send out a Houndoom, the evolution of Hound Hour. And uh, again, Earthquake should be more than enough to take care of it. A bite? <laughs> Don't need to worry about that. Okay, maybe we need to worry about that. <laughs> um, interesting fact for you, I used the Houndoom on my... 
Black 2 team, I think. Yeah. Pretty sure it was Black 2. Because uh, I couldn't find any other fire type Pokemon. And that was the only one I could find. I was just like, fine, I'll just use a stinking Houndoom. It was alright. I called him Fido. <laughs> there you go. Fun fact for you there. I've actually got all of my past playthrough Pokemon backed up on Pokemon Bank. So there you go. While he's level 39, which is great. <clears throat> Clear the throat. Thank you. So we're now going to send in a coughing, which I guess it's good that we healed up Ness. Um, I guess coughing is just a filler Pokemon because Houndour is alright. Houndoom is much better. I mean, that actually did quite a chunk of health against uh, Wally. Actually, a level thi uh, 35 coughing. Oh, I didn't. Ah, uh, I didn't talk in Archer voice. Oh well, I need to take a sip of my water before I do the voice again. <laughs> mhm. Mm Sludge. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's fine. You can poison me all you like because I'm about to beat you in the face. That's not impossible. I'll show you what impossible is. I'm not sure where I was going with that. Okay, there we go. We've defeated Archer. <laughs> now give me money for it. Executive Archer. Okay. <clears throat> Let me just prepare myself. Wow, how could this be? Our dreams have come to naught. I was not up to the task after all. Like Giovanni had done before me, I will disband Team Rocket here today. Farewell. That's it. That's done. All done. Never seeing Archie or Archer ever again. Archie? Oh no, that's from Generation 3. That's just like, that sounds familiar in Pokemon. Oh look, the director's here. Oh, you have already defeated them. Thank you. Your courageous actions have, been, uh, have saved Pokemon nationwide. You are well worth this. Please take it. So he's going to give us the Rainbow Wing. If you're playing Soul Silver, you'll get the Silver Wing? Probably. Uh, I can't remember. There used to be a tower right here. When the tower was replaced by the radio tower, that Rainbow Wing was found at the top of the tower. I heard from a friend in Searwood City that you can climb to the Bell Tower Tower in Ecritique City when you have a tower, Rainbow Wing Tower. I have to get back to my office tower. See you, tower. Tower. Oh, I almost forgot. According to my tower from Seamwood City, <laughs> the legendary Pokemon will not appear if you just go up to the top of the Bell Tower Tower with only that Rainbow Wing Tower. Apparently there is something else you need, or something like that tower. I wonder what tower it was. I can't remember tower. Are you serious? Are you expecting something tower? That's what they call a fake out. I really must get back to my office tower this time. See you. Yeah, he used tower like three times in a sentence before, that's why I carried on saying tower so many times. Anyway, with that all said and done, I shall head back to Goldenrod um, uh, Pokemon Center and heal up before... Actually, no, I won't. Yeah, I will. Uh, no, actually, I'll tell you what, I'll see you outside Mahogany Town um, Pokemon Center, and then we will continue with our journey, so I'll be right back. Alrighty, so here we are, back at Mahogany Town. And first up, something has changed. Visit Grandma's shop. She sells stuff that nobody else has. You want to buy stuff, right? Buy stuff at my grandma's. So yeah, the uh, old souvenir shop cover base for the hideout is actually... Uh, well, it's now turned into a small shop over here. Um, we you don't really get much, although I am going to pick up some um, super potions. Let's get 20 of them. 20. Okay. And anything else? Hyper potions might be good for battles. Um, let's get five of those. Okay. We won't really need these much uh, anymore, but they're going to be helpful. Uh, let's get 30 more super repels. Super repels. And about five revives, just in case. I mean, we've got two. You know what? Let's just top it up to ten. <clears throat> there we go. And the other thing has changed is uh, you can actually head back to the uh, the toll booth. I think it was a toll booth. Um, uh, over towards the Lake of Rage here, and we shall see that. Also, I love I love Mahogany Town, like the little things poking up at the side. Hello. I heard that you can find a red scale occasionally. Speaking of which, I know a person who'd appreciate red scale. Who? I think he's called Mr. Something or other. <laughs> I think it was called Mr. Something or other. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much for being so helpful. So yeah, we can head into this toll booth, and I believe we get something. Although I'm not entirely sure. Do we? Hello? Uh, I got chased from my post from those Team Rocket folks, and they just disappeared. Someone apparently destroyed their hideout. One more thing. I found this under the counter. It makes me uncomfortable. Could I give it to you? So he'll give us TM36, which is fantastic. And it also contains Sludge Bomb. Not only does it damage the target, it also poisons it sometimes. See? Doesn't make you feel uncomfortable. It's one of the most powerful special, atta uh, special attacking type po uh, poison moves. So, very helpful, very good to pick it up. Uh, and if you didn't know, Pokemon Heart Gold is the last of games um, in the Pokemon series where um, TMs can only be used once. From now on, after this game, they can be used many, many times. So here we have an, a Rud Apricorn and uh, a couple of trainers to battle, which we are going to go through. 
because EXP is fun. There's no apricorns. I accidentally clicked on it twice. Never mind. Um, so we're going to do a few today and then a few next time uh, before we head on to the next area. And to basically finish up, um, well, just because we, we want to get all of them out of the way. Whirly. <laughs> okay, let's use water gun. Confuse rays. Okay. Um, I know Wally is currently my highest level Pokemon, but I do want to try and get them all up to level 40, starting with Wally. So, um, I think Wally's going to take a bit of a backseat for the next couple of episodes, but we want to get him up to level 40 first, um, just because he's the closest. So, 210 isn't really going to help much. Then, going to send in a Kadabra. I guess we could just go with Ness, because um, Ness, again, he's, he's quite close to level 40. Okay. Actually, I'm not sure how well Ness will do up against the Kadabra. Level 29, though. Let's just go up raw with the uh, good old stab. Actually, you know what? I think I'm probably going to keep up raw on Kadabra, oh, Kadabra on Ness. Okay, so he's using Reflect to um, raise his defense, not special defense, so it's fine. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to keep up raw on Ness because it's a pretty good special attacking normal type move because we, we get the same type of attack bonus on it, so heck, we might as well. Aha, uh -huh. so I might even give um, Ness an item that boosts its normal type attack as well. Could be handy. Okay, a little item hidden here. It's a Max Repel. And yes, I know it's pronounced Repel. Please don't tell me that I said it wrong, because I know it's a joke, okay? Calm down. Here we have a nice little fisherman. I fish until I can't anymore, so I also battle till I drop. That's my relationship with my Pokemon. Well, that's, that's just too hard on your Pokemon, dude. Seriously, Edgar, get your priorities right. So he has a Remoraid. Very cool Pokemon. It evolves into Octillery. Uh, we may have seen them before, but I don't think we have. It's basically an octopus. So there you go. But did I really just use Water Gun? I'm an idiot. I thought that was... <laughs> um, I thought I was still in Ness mode, so I was trying to use Uproar. Never mind. Strength it is. That was a bit silly, wasn't it? Okay. So there goes one Remoraid, and I'm pretty sure he's just got a second one. Also, we're gaining hardly any XP. <laughs> Oh well. Um, oh yeah, um, when I said I want to get all Pokemon up to level 40, that doesn't include um, Shadow for now, because I want him to sort of stick around in the low 30s, just because I want to I want to work on getting him some new moves soon, and uh, that's not going to really be able to happen. That's not really going to be possible until he, uh, he step well, because obviously he learns new moves every one level, 41, 51, 61, etc, etc. Uh, so that's not going to be good to do it just yet, in my opinion. I don't want to level him up until we start getting him new moves. So maybe not next episode, but the episode after that we can give Shadow a new move. I've got an idea of the moves that I want to give him. He's going to be very, very helpful. Okay, here we have Mareep. Haven't seen one of these for a while. Okay, let's just hit him with an Earthquake. Kaboom. Get quaked. And I think we'll do one more battle and then call it quits. Call it quits. Okay. There goes the Marie. Down and out for the count. Awesome. Want to gain some XP. Charlie gains some XP. He's going to send out Blossom. We're going to switch because we ain't getting into that. <laughs> Not with something that's four times weak against Grass. Nah. Ness, however, is flying type and is super effective against Grass type moves. Or Grass type Pokemon, so we shall use him. Uh, slash. A Kablooey. There we go. Please one hit. Ah, oh, close enough, I guess. Flinched. Eh, fine. Whatever. Okay, so one more air slash, boom. Down and out for the count. Ha cha cha. That's a lot of XP for a blossom, actually. I suppose, though, this fully evolved, so nope, this won't do it all. You're correct, it won't. Okay, so we're now into Ace Trainer territory. Ah, here's the last one, then, I suppose. Before we call it quits. I can tell you're a good trainer by looking at you. I'm good at Pokemon, and I can see that you are too. Thank you for the kind words. <laughs> So, Ace Trainer, Alan. What you got for me? Charmeleon? Okay. <laughs> Good thing Wally's out in front. Just go with the Earthquake. Bye, thank He's still fast on this. It's alright, I suppose. It's to be expected. Okay. That should easily take care of it, right? Am I right? It should do. What level is it, actually? Level 29. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what else you got for me? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Charmeleon. It's a Magnemite. Okay. <laughs> Let's just stick with Wally and carry on Earthquaking. 
Uh, battling an Ace Trainer, all you need is Earthquake. <clears throat> so, anyway, I'm gonna go and stop recording before my voice totally gives out. Thank you all very, very much indeed for watching. And uh, next time, we shall hopefully be able to make it uh, reach the next uh, area, or the next the, ne the next town. So that that's our aim. So thank you all very much for watching, and I will, of course, see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye, guys. Oh, what's this? Ultra Ball. Yay!